Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I taught 15 years at Black River Falls High School, worked in Holman for the last three, and now I'm back for my 16th year. I never actually left the district, so I always lived here. The commute to uh, Holman was about an hour away. And I did miss the school and miss the people. And uh, the opportunity presented itself. And uh, I talked to Mr. Chambers this summer, and uh, we worked it out so I was able to come back. With all the changes, coming back to Black River was uh, not as bad as it could be because the changes happened over the summer. So being a member of the faculty and a lot of the faculty that have been here already having the same situation that I'm in has helped. Uh, the toughest transition for me is getting used to the technology. There's a lot of technology here which will be beneficial once I get a firm grasp on it. The transition coming back has been aided by, I would say many people, but probably the biggest two would be Mary Burns, has helped me a lot with the technology and Ms. Tedens, who's the department head of the English department, has gone out of her way quite a bit to uh, help me out, so I appreciate that a great deal. Coming back to Black River Falls, it's a smaller district, so it's, it's, it's interesting to see. It's about half the size of where I was, so uh, I'm getting to know the whole student body, which is a, which is a nice transition. The AB schedule is something I, I really enjoy, so uh, most of the things that I'm adjusting to have been favorable so and I also enjoy the 10 minute commute as opposed to our one-way commute I had so that's also beneficial. I had the opportunity to have a mentor and uh, there was a little bit of hubris there probably like well, I've been in the district 15 years so I won't need a mentor so I turned it down. I don't really regret not having a mentor except for the fact it might have helped with adapting to the technology more than anything else. There's so many new things in this district this year that most of the staff is having the same transition that I'm having, just getting used to the, the new commons and the, the new office and the new uh, guidance office and copiers are different places than they used to be, so. Uh, but no, I don't regret not having one. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Allie. And I'm Stephanie. And today is Monday, October 5th. And it's an AP Teacher Collaboration Day today, so if your advisor is also an AP teacher, you will need to find another spot to focus. Tomorrow is the Wisconsin Education Fair in La Crosse. Do not forget, juniors. We've <coughs> got a scholarship opportunity plus info for FFA and a Senate announcement. Let's start with some congratulations. We've got 19 students who represent their classes on Student Senate this year. They have taken on an important responsibility for our school. They went through a nomination process and were elected last week in a school-wide vote. Do you want to know who they are? Drum roll, please. Freshman Senators are Emma Bible, Memphis Cleveland, Jordan Johnson, and Logan Vonderhellen. Sophomores will be represented by Danny Bernabe Grassi, Ben Bluedorn, Kim Leadholm, Caleb Marichek, and Bailey Siski. Junior Senators are Moses Decora, Hunter Hurst, Jacob Markhart, Alicia Qualt, and Jacob Sweeney. Our seniors will be represented by Matt Bronson, Dan Foreman, Natalie Gavron, Mai Long, and Nick Pardo. The first Senate meeting will be on Wednesday during Focus in room 251. You can expect to be hearing from Student Senate frequently, frequently over the next several months. Senate has been done some Senate has done some amazing things from kicking the recycling program off twice to opening up Wi-Fi for devices back before the students had their own laptops. Make sure to tell your senators your concerns about school. You never know, you might get something done about it. Okay, FFA members, are you there? You will have a meeting for the cheese and sausage sale during focus period today in the high school agriculture room. You will discuss the best practices for <coughs> selling and you will be able to get your sales sheets to begin selling. Attention all, scholars, scholars, all college scholarship seekers. This month the high school is promoting the Voice of Democracy contest. 
A contest that, contest that is sponsored by the Veterans of Foreign War and is open to students across the country. The national first place winner receives a $30,000 scholarship, and there are many other scholarships ranging from $1,000 to $16,000. The first place winner from each state <coughs> wins an all-expense pay, pay trip to Washington, D.C. The VFW established the Voice of Democracy program to provide students grades 9 through 12 the opportunity to express themselves in regards to democratic ideas and principles. This is an audio essay competition, meaning that you will write a short essay and then record it onto an audio CD or a flash drive. The audio recording only needs to be three to five minutes long. This year, the theme is My Vision for America. The deadline to get your recording into Miss Snipe, the school social worker, or Mr. Phillips, the choir director, is October 28th. Entries will be judged by the local VFW Post, which chooses the local winner. You do not have to be planning on going to college to enter this contest. Please email Miss Knipe or Mr. Phillips if you are interested. That's about it. Have a great day, Tigers.